Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you my tips and tricks for applying liquid lipstick. If you are new to my channel, my name is Amanda Ensing. I am a makeup junkie, but first and foremost, I am a lipstick junkie. Lipstick is my favorite thing to apply in the entire world. I don't know why it took me so long to do this video because I always get requests for it and I'm like, Amanda, get it together. So today I'm getting it together and I'm gonna show you how I apply my liquid lipstick. For the past couple of years, I can't get away from liquid lips. It seems to be the only thing that I wear. I don't wear lipstick as much. I don't wear gloss as much. However, I also know that liquid matte lipsticks can be a little bit intimidating, a little bit hard to use. My goal for you guys after this video is to be able to apply liquid lipstick confidently, whether it's a nude or a black. I don't want you leaving the house or getting out of your car wherever you're applying your lipstick and feeling like, is it on my teeth and did it get anywhere? I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and if you want to see how to apply liquid lipstick like a pro, then just keep watching. So the first thing that you want to do is make sure your lips have been moisturized and primed. I always get so many questions about my lips and how I keep them smooth when I have the liquid lip on and moisturizing. Hydrating is so, so, so important. The reason my lips look smooth is not because of my lip filler. Like, I do have lines in my lips and even before I had lip filler, I still had lines in my lips, but when you keep them hydrated, everything just glides on so much easier. Trust me. My favorite lip balm in the entire world is no surprise, Aquaphor. I've used this for years. It's the best. You can get it at Walmart, Target, CVS, Walgreens, any of that. This is the lip repair. I have them scattered all throughout my apartment in all of my bags because I can never be without it. I also love their healing ointment. It's in a little bit bigger of a tube. It just kind of depends on my mood. I feel like the ointment is a little bit heavier. So during the winter, I'm always using the ointment but this is the one that I use on the daily. So I've already applied this while I did the rest of my makeup, so it sat on my lips, and then I just pat off the excess right before I apply my lip color. Also, make sure you're getting plenty of water and staying hydrated, because that also will make your lips appear fuller and also make them a lot healthier. Make sure before applying your liquid lip that your lips are completely dry. No leftover lip balm or anything. You want a completely dry surface. I know I have a bad habit of licking my lips, so like, like I just do it and I don't think about it. So make sure you don't do that right before you apply your liquid lips. I know it can feel kind of dry and uncomfortable, but once the liquid lip dries, it creates that layer over your lips and it's so much better, but make sure they're dry. So usually I just do it on the back of my hand or on a paper towel. Make sure your hands are clean if you're doing it on your hand, um, but make sure you get all of your lips completely dry, even that little inner part right here because you want it to go on your entire lip and not have any of your lip, like your lip skin, that sounds weird. You don't want any of your lips showing through the color. Does that make sense? Like all of this. When I want a really clean application, I will take my Beauty Blender or foundation brush, whatever I use that day, with whatever foundation is left on it and just apply it to my lips. This technique creates a really even thin layer of foundation that isn't cakey and it's a great base underneath of your liquid lip because everything is even and I have really pigmented lips so this is really helpful for me. The liquid lipstick I'm gonna use today is ColourPop Beeper, one of my all-time favorites. I use it so, so much. Like you can't even see the label on it because I use it so much. The hardest part of applying liquid lipstick for me is my Cupid's bow. Mine is a little bit more defined, but I like to even out my cupid's bow so it's a little bit rounder. So I like to start with the top lip and I start at the cupid's bow. A little tip when you're doing your cupid's bow, if you round it and make an X in the center, it allows you to make the cupid's bow a lot easier. I like to smile like this to even it out so that way I can make sure the lines are even and sometimes I'll look down and do that just to make sure that they're the same on each side. Another helpful tip is to apply one even layer, move it while it's wet, let it dry, and then go in with more if you wanna add more pigmentation or if any of it is patchy. But usually I find with one layer, maybe a few touch-ups is good for me. For my bottom lip, I start from the outer corner and bring it inwards instead of going inwards and outwards. So I start in the corner, drag it on the very outer perimeter of the lip, and then fill it in. You guys see how there's so much product on here? There's a lot. I don't like to have an excess of product on my brush, so I kind of brush it on the top just so I have a really thin layer because it's always easier to add more, but it's so hard if you get too much and then your line can be chunky because if there's a puddle of product, it's a mess.
Just adding a little more to the inner heart. Make sure as it dries, you don't rub your lips together. Like don't smear them like you do with regular lipstick, if that makes sense, like don't mush them together. Let it dry in one even coat. I hope you guys could understand that. As the lipstick dries, I'm just gonna clean the outer edges. I'm just taking this little flat definer brush from Morphe. Look how fabulous. I love using my Makeup Forever Stick Foundation because it's the same color as my face. It's not brighter like a concealer can be. So I just take a little bit and I'm just gonna clean up any edges. I don't always do this. When you want that really precise application and especially with darker colors, usually I have to touch it up a little bit. I also wanted to briefly show you some of my favorite liquid lipstick formulas because I always get asked about it. I can do a more in-depth detailed video if you guys want swatches and like favorite colors, stuff like that. Let your girl know. I've tried so many liquid lipstick formulas over the last couple of years and these are hands down my favorite. I might have forgot a few different brands, so excuse me if I have, but when I was looking through my drawers, these are the ones that I was like, yes, 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 and yes. Dose of Colors has one of my favorite formulas ever. I love them so, so much. The applicator is really fluffy. They go on very even. They're not too drying. They're very pigmented. Dose of Colors, hands down, amazing. Anastasia Beverly Hills was probably the first liquid lipstick formula that I fell in love with. I remember when she launched all of her colors and it was just amazing. Like everyone was freaking out because she was one of the first ones to jump on all the different colors. So this is definitely one of my favorite brands. Kat Von D liquid lips are amazing. I will say my favorite colors are Bow and Arrow and Lolita. Bow and Arrow is my number one favorite. This one is Lolita. This is my second favorite. Lip Land is another one of my favorites because they're very intense and pigmented. So all you need is one coat and it lasts all day long. The formula is very thin, so it's really comfortable on the lips. Love these. I do have a coupon for Lip Land as well. I'll link it down below. Too Faced Melted Liquid Lips. These are amazing. They're so pigmented. This one, I think it's called Drop Dead Red. I wore it in my last video. I bought these, I think it was last year, whenever I bought this one and the blue one and the nude one. They're so pigmented. They're so great. This is my favorite liquid red that I own. Kylie Cosmetics is a great liquid lip formula. This is hands down the most dry out of all of the formulas, but it doesn't budge and they have great colors. The thing I love most about Kylie Cosmetics is their colors. I wish the formula was a little bit more hydrating, but I will deal with it for the colors. This is Love Bite, which is my favorite from them. I have nothing like it in my collection. Jouer Lip Creams are phenomenal. I love these so much. This has a smaller applicator, which means it applies a lot more precisely. This formula is really creamy, so it's very approachable if you're new to liquid lips. This is definitely something that I recommend because they're really easy to put on. They do take a second to dry, but once they dry, they're on. I have a coupon code for Jouer as well. I'll link them down below. Last is ColourPop. I'm wearing Beeper today. I do find that their formula can change a little bit depending on the shade. This is Beeper. This is my favorite. It's a staple for me and it's so comfortable. Some of their darker shades can be a little bit hard to work with, but the nudes from ColourPop are my favorite and they're six bucks. You can't beat it. So that's all I do for my liquid lip application. Keep in mind, my camera is really HD. Like it films in 4K, even though I don't upload in 4K. So you're probably able to see every tiny little line. But in person, this looks great. It's clean, it's easy. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you're new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe and join my YouTube family. It would mean the world to me. You can hit subscribe right down below. Also, don't forget to thumbs up this video if you love these little tip videos. I would really, really like to do more. So let me know any suggestions for little ones down below. I love you guys so much. I hope you're having a fabulous week and I'll see you in my next video. I love how it looks like I'm not wearing a shirt, but I, I really am wearing a shirt. So, of course there is a loud truck outside with making loud beeping noises. As soon as I sit down to film, it's been so quiet all day. So the first thing that you want to do is make sure you have moisturized and primed your lips. Moisturized. Duh. <laughs> so I just, so just make a kissy face. The hardest part, the hardest, <laughs> oh my gosh. Yay! For me, I like to kind of, I think I had glitter on my nose.